Everybody, our next guest has experienced quite the ride in the music industry as the lead singer of one of Australia's most celebrated rock bands. Creeping up slowly now, Taxi Ride frontman Jason Singh is touring is touring solo and performing some of the greatest hits of all time. All time. We are thrilled to say Jason Singh joins us live from Melbourne. Good morning, hey, Jason. Legend. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Great to have you on the show. Uh, take us back to 1999, first of all, when Taxi Ride, you know, took the world by storm. What was that moment like in your career? No, well, 1999 BC. <laughs> it feels <laughs> like um, you know that's before COVID feels like a, a whole lifetime ago but um, yeah coming up to 25 years ago that get said and um, and taxi ride came out um, it was an incredible ride for a you know a guy in his early 20s and the whole band was um, in their 20s so yeah so we worked really hard up to getting a record deal and um, and then putting out imaginate and it debuted at number one and uh, the rest is history. We had a few hits and we had a, a pretty good ride at the time. A lot I, got, I always wanted to say this, but I, I, I sat down, I don't know if I ever told you this, Jason, but I sat down in New York at that time, around 99, with Seymour Stein, the great uh -huh. record producer. Mm. He produced, he found Madonna and Talking Heads. And I sat down, I went to this dinner and I was like, ooh, I'm going to sit with Seymour Stein. This is really going to make me. And the whole night he just talked to me about this amazing group called Taxi Ride. Really? So really? I, I wanted to know, like, what was it like and what was his input into your success? Well, I mean, he was an incredible A&R guy and, um, you know, he, the, his ears and his um, instincts were second to none. I mean, signing Madonna and Talking Heads and the Ramones and yeah. the Pretenders and us. Um, That's great. You know, and, and it's what it's kind of what's missing in the music business now is that traditional A&R person that would hear something in a group or a, or a performer or an artist and go this guy's got something or this band's got something and I'm going to develop it and I'm going to work it. And his presence was just, his aura was, I mean, it was crazy to be around him and be stuck in his orbit because uh, the stories that he could tell and, and, um, and you know, his, just his, his knowledge of the music business was second to none. And unfortunately, you know, last week he passed away. Mm -hmm. I was only thinking about him that morning and, uh, and then I got the news that he passed away. So another, another great loss from the music business. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, he certainly knew what he was talking about because you guys toured with some you know, huge names. Taxi Ride performed around Europe. Uh, even with the great Tina Turner, you performed to like two sold out uh, Wembley stadiums. That must have been incredible. Uh, it was incredible, actually. And the, the footage that's up right now is, well, there you go. That's us walking out onto stage at Wembley Stadium. Wow. So, that's yeah. um, what was that know, like, that moment, to hear that like crowd? Uh, it, was, it was crazy. I mean, it, for me personally, it was, um, it was a real visual of how big an artist could get. Like, she had 440 staff on the tour. She had leapfrogging stages around Europe and... Um, she would fly in on a helicopter, come out of the helicopter, walk straight out onto stage and just explode. Her energy was like crazy. And, um, you know, me personally, I took, I take a lot out of watching other artists when you're playing alongside them. And, you know, we had the opportunity to tour with Madonna, but uh, we've played with so many great acts in Matchbox 20. And, uh, and as a solo artist, I've, you know, toured with John Farnham and, um, Mariah Carey and Hanson, which was an incredible um, eye opener as far as um, how hard you got to work to stay on top. So you're, um, st you're still working hard, man. You're, yeah. you're such a great performer. You're such a great singer. So tell us about this this tour. This is Heaven's Greatest Hits tour. What is this? What are we talking about? What songs you got? So Heaven's Greatest Hits uh, was inspired after 2016 when three of my favourite artists passed away in the same year. We lost Prince. David Bowie and George Michael in 2016 and for me it was like music is done without those guys in it and it but it inspired an album I put out in 2018 called Valet which is a tribute to all the artists that I've loved in my life that have inspired me to be a musician and um, and that has developed through COVID um, into this spectacular show called Heaven's Greatest Hits where I pay tribute to all the dead greats in Bowie, Prince, Michael Jackson, Freddie Mercury, Elvis, 
George Michael, uh, the list goes on and on and um, it's an incredible song list and we've made the show, the show's not just a, a performance, it is um, it's almost theatrical in, in the fact that we've recreated the day of each person's passing and um, you know it's a big visual spectacular, we've, I've put a hell of a lot of work into it and um, we're lucky enough to be playing huge theatres around around Australia and in a couple of weeks um, playing at the Sydney Opera House on the 24th of April and um, I just couldn't be more pleased with how the show is evolving. What and a it, show. It takes a big talent to take yeah. all those singers on, mate, and that is you, my friend. Good to see you again, legend. Yeah, great to see you too, and thanks for having me. And uh, at the end of the year, we're actually doing a national tour with Heaven's Greatest Hits, going to Perth. South Australia, Vic, New South Wales, Queensland, Tassie, and probably Darwin. So make sure Love you uh, Everyone check me can out. See it. You've got Absolutely. it, mate. Oh, we can catch Jason singing at the Opera House, as he said, on April 24th. That is going to be a heck of a show. Jace, thanks so much, mate. Tickets are available on the website. All right, straight ahead, though. Pie Lovers. <laughs>